welcome back to Huntington's Crafts. Um, I don't look like a crazy person today. <laughs> oh, I hurt my neck. <laughs> Again, I hurt my neck and my back. Not from none of this, though. Uh, rearranging, which I still, still have more to do. Boo. <laughs> um, today is Whip It, Whip It Good Wednesday. So, try to sit back a little bit. Uh, in my one video, I posted about I have what I call my doom of whip drawers, and it's uh, I was organizing my room and in my nightstand, I had um, a whole bunch of whips that I didn't finish that I just magically found, <laughs> and so I d decided that I am going to finish them um, each week. Try to finish at least. One, the bigger projects like a blanket, I won't be able to finish, uh, you know, that quickly. But still, I can work on them little by little. So, let me move this out the way. I finished one of my purses that I had uh, in my Duma Whip drawer get it all fixed up this is my hocus oh it's there we go hocus pocus purse I added a keychain and this is Billy so I have it added to uh, the zipper but it can come off and you can put your keys on it or whatever I did get cat material but then I ended up not using that and I used this kind because I thought it had like all of the colors uh, and it went really good with the whole Hocus Pocus theme. And then the zipper is this really, really pretty zipper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's like rainbow, well, yeah, kind of like rainbowy metallic. But I just thought it just tied in really, really pretty. And I was so happy that I found my zippers. For the life of me, I could not remember where I put my zippers. I kept thinking, where the heck did I put them? I looked, I have like a desk right here. I looked on the desk, wasn't there. I looked on my drawers in my bedroom. Um, my nightstand that I like have little, well, my Duma whips. It wasn't in there. And then finally when I was organizing things and I found things that go specifically in a drawer that is for like purse findings and things like that. There my zippers were. <laughs> so I was like, yay. And so then I was like, oh, you know what? While I'm in here and I have uh, everything, well, in this section organized, I can get at my sewing machine. And so then I sewed the lining in, the zipper, and then got it all put together. So I just have a simple little metal chain that little things inside the back is just black but I did do that little mosaic all the all around the edge and, but oh I just love how it came out so it says I smell children and a muck and then it's just a bunch of and right here hocus pocus then it has the three ladies Mary Winifred and Sarah Thackeray Binks and then book. It might not come. I mean, you probably see it backwards. I hope not. But uh, I really love how this came out. Really, really love how this one came out. I was gonna do a wallet with it. I'm still gonna do the wallet. I might add it to it, but um, or just post it to get separately. But there, that is done, and I'm so happy this one got done. It was all done. All it was done just needed to have the lining in and then, you know, the little, uh, the zipper and then the purse thingies. What are you doing? Hey, you. You know you can't be in here. You know you can't be in here. Thank you. What are you doing? I love you too. <laughs> Walking up in here like that. Um. That is Luca, Mr. Hoots. <sighs> Doggy. 
He's a good boy. He is really a good boy. But he likes to be a cat. And he likes to come in my craft room and get at my yarn. And, oh, that hurt. Oh, like, uh, and get at my yarn. And the next thing you know, I go and my yarn's all torn apart. And I'm like, Luca. <laughs> you ever see the movie Beethoven? The dad's like always against Beethoven. Oh, that's so Luca. It's like you love him, but then you're so angry at the same time. Because he will come up in here. I'm trying to find. I, I think I threw it away. Any little thing. If I have. Like I have my little. Let me grab one. I have my owl basket. I have it filled with yarn. And. He'll just go inside. Pull the yarn out. He has toys. He has bones. But. He wants he wants the luxury stuff. He wants the yarn. And he always goes after the fancy, fancy stuff. He don't touch the acrylic. No, he goes after the fancy. He's a snooty yarnivore dog. He's a punk. <laughs> but he's adorable. And it's so cute. If, if I call, I'll try to give me one second. I try to get him, but it's so cute. If I start calling for Alyssa, like, I'm like, Alyssa, Alyssa. He's like, wow, Alyssa, Alyssa. Like, it sounds like it is so cute. So if I start calling for any one of the kids, he thinks he has to call for them too. He tries to help me, and yeah, he'll call for them. I'm trying to teach him I love you. But he only didn't like, oh, there you are, come here. Come here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? <gasps> say hi. Luca, look, look. Oh, he's a good boy. Hey, Alyssa. Come here. Come. Come. Alyssa. 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 Isn't it cute? <laughs> Oh, there's your eyes. That's what I wanted to show. Ah, don't you even. Yeah, he saw something up there. He's like, I'm going to get up there and grab that. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? It is really cute. Um, He's really protective of, protective of the kids, too. Oh, my goodness. He is a Pomsky, which is a Husky Pomeranian mix. Uh, we got him online on mm, Craigslist yeah Craigslist wasn't even looking for a dog wasn't looking for anything really I go on there for um the cats the cats outside that I try to rescue I'll uh if I can get them in and I get them good I rescue them we're down to three so um, I mean from 15 to three is really really good so um yeah I go on there and if I see like food for sale or something, I'll get the food for the cats. Sometimes people will say post it up like free food and things like that. So I get it um, for the cats outside. So that's why I was on there. I wasn't looking for no other pets at all. And then that he popped up and I thought, oh my goodness, um, Mr. Hoot Jeff, he had a husky before. Years ago, I had gotten him a husky and he was so in love with it. It was right when Alyssa was born and his name was Stargazer. <laughs> I don't know why, but he named him Stargazer. He had like these beautiful blue eyes and he looks like him. Hey you, troublemaker. Uh-uh. Don't come in here with your bad self. What you doing, Lukey Pookie? Huh? What are you doing? Nah, uh-huh. You see? Nah, uh -uh. No. No. Yeah. Uh-huh, you wag that butt out that door. <laughs> so, um, I I just showed him. And he was like, oh my goodness, he's so cute. I need him in my life. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> I need yarn. You don't need him. But um, we ended up getting him, and it was a good thing that we did. He he didn't come from a great home um, at all. And you can tell, like, he was so scared. If you raise your hand, he would, like, go like this and pee himself. And, I mean, it was really bad. Um, but he's great. 
he no accidents at all not that he had accidents but like i said if you like if he was like cowering or something like that he would like run to the kitchen or something hide under the table and pee himself and it was so sad and i'm like those people lie like you know and they had him in like this tiny little crate and it was like way too small for his size I'm so sorry. I really hurt myself. I was laughing at something, which you're going to see here in a, in a second. Well, not in a second, but you'll see soon enough. So anyway, um, he was in like a really, really small crate. And they had like this story. Like he was so scared of guys with beards and stuff. And I was thinking, that's weird. But then they said he came from an Amish family. So, but here's the thing. He came from... A really popular um, dog uh, uh, breeders okay I don't want to I don't know it's really bad to shop and not adopt but he came from breeders and they're very strict with their breeders like you have to have like all these certifications and all these things to be able to sell through this um, greenfield puppies it's called to sell through these things so when I told Jeff that I mean we had like all the paperwork and stuff and I said wait a minute they said they, that they got him from Amish and so when I looked it up I was like wait right here it says greenfield puppies I said Jeff that's where we got Trixie from uh, Jeff had gotten me Trixie um, when my mom passed away, he got me her the day after my mom passed away. I was like, of course, in that moment, anybody's going to be distraught and like going through it really bad. And he didn't know what to do for me. Um, so he got me a puppy. He was like, you know, try to keep my mind off things. So anyway, that's how I got Trixie. And so I know all about Greenfield puppies and like, you know, they're really top notch with their, with a lot of people like if anybody's doing anything wrong, they do kick them off the system and everything. So, their story didn't add up there. The guy, however, he had a beard. So, I'm like, he's probably scared of him. Like, you probably, like, he's a puppy. Probably got into stuff, doing puppy things. And they didn't like it. And they, you know, hit him and stuff. Because you can tell he was scared. And they were like, oh, he's kind of iffy with guys. He loves my husband. Like, my when Jeff comes home, oh my goodness. It's like, I don't know none of you. It's like, he goes running to him. And he's like, you know, he's not bad where he hops on you or anything like that. He just goes on to him. He's like, kissing, kissing, kissing like crazy. Wags his little big old butt, you know. <laughs> he does, it's just so cute. So, um, yeah, the only thing is that drives me insane is that he, he, he gets in my craft room. I close the door, but that's a little sliding door. I got to get an actual door now. Um. But yeah, he gets into it. And so, I mean, he only got into a couple skeins, but still, that's a couple skeins. <laughs> but he didn't do, the one he did damage to because that was like the first time he came. And I was like, oh my goodness. But other than that, I just tell him no. And I show him, say, you don't get into mommy's stuff. And then he leaves it a go. And I say, this is Luca toy. Mommy's toy, Luca's toy. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's my Lukey Pookie. back to whip it Wednesday so this is a whip and it is going to be an owl shawl at first I was going to make a top a tank top and I was going to add this to the back of it but I thought you know this is so pretty I'm just going to finish it out and make it as the owl shawl so let me try to show it to you this is the one side's almost done I'm um, doing the wing uh, so this is like the little ear and then I got to do the ear on this side and then the wing so you can see and whoopsie there's the tail so right here start and doing like shell stitches and then you do this wing this is a pattern um a few of you have sent it to me and I did have this on my bucket list before to do um but when I went to the site to get the pattern, it was like a different language. It was I don't I don't know if it was Russian or it was just some weird like I don't want to say weird, but you know, uniquely different lettering and stuff like that. So um finally end up getting it. 
English and so I will try to link that down below but I don't remember the site so I'll if I can find it I'll link it down but so far it's you can just find pictures of it but so doing this it does have like that pretty I think this is a pineapple or something middle I don't know but oh look at that whoopsie I love this so I am using for this and I'm telling you, this is gorgeous. It is Yarn B Katarina Aztec Blanket. It's 295 yards. Um, and the color name is Aztec Blanket. I thought it had a different color, but 90% uh, acrylic and 10% nylon. It is super de duper soft. It says a light number three. Mm, I would say like a heavier three. Not too light maybe like a light four um but you could pair it up but look how pretty this is look at that oh i just love it love it love it i had this for a while now it's 3.99 a skein and that's not bad this is really really pretty and uh every other week hobby lobby has uh 30 percent off their yarn so love this and I, I think they had other colors too I have to get more of this but this is how it starts coming out and oh I'm just so in love and it is super super soft the only thing I did different was the eye um, I used this gray this is Hobby Lobby and oh it is pigment fibers and it's um Superwash Merino, and I think it's acrylic mix. Superwash Merino acrylic mix. I don't, know. don't quote me on that. It might not be, but I do know it's a fancy yarn. <laughs> but you know, I, I thought I have a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do the eye. So I did the eye, and then I did just one row around the edge in to tie in the gray. You know, I didn't want to just like have just gray and no tie in. So I used that to tie in. But ooh. I'm just so in love with this. I can't wait for this to be done. Of course, I'm always going to wear this. I'm going to be like, look at my owl. <laughs> um, I have another one a few of you have sent me too. Um, and Sandy actually found me the pattern links, which I was so happy for. This is really cool owl, um, like wrap around your neck. Cow, I want to say. And it's like an owl head. Oh, it is gorgeous. Um, but... I really want to do it really pretty. Not that the pattern's the pattern's beautiful, but I want to stick to the pattern. So I'm gonna try to make sure I have the yarn and everything for that. So that's gonna be after I get all my whips done. I'm gonna start on that one. And I might start it sooner. It's me. <laughs> Apparently now I like to start things without finishing. <laughs> Which is so weird because before I was never like that. I used to like if I worked on something, I got it done, and then I would work on something else. I never had whips. Ever. And now, all of a sudden, I have a Duma whip drawer, and I'm like, who are you? You have whips. Oh, and look at this. Well, uh, um, I was cleaning. I found a bag of whips, which I have to go through. Let's go through it together, shall we? Let me open this up. Oh, I do remember this. Let me try to get the yarn. Everything's tangled. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I was dramatic for nothing. Oh, I do remember this. Oh, no. The only thing that really stinketh about knitting is that all of your stitches are on the needles and if one falls I mean there we go so this is a lion brand pattern and it's going to be a wrap and oh it's so pretty so this is actually a, a acrylic yarn it looks like it's I mean it's fancy acrylic yarn maybe it has I have one somewhere. I have to find it. This was from AC Moore's. 
and it was their fancy, I want to say it's 100% acrylic. I'm really going to say it's 100% acrylic because um, I think they started doing it for those people that couldn't afford, um, you know, the fancy yarn. They made their own little fancy yarn, and it is so pretty. And so, it'll, oh boy, give me a second. I'm back. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. So it's Stitch Studio by Nicole and it's called Novu. And yeah, oh no, it has 10% wool in it. It's 45% uh, acrylic, 45% polyester, and then 10% wool. It's a late number three, which I do agree with. And then it has, which don't I sound professional? <laughs> I do agree with every time I say like I agree with it I feel like I'm so yarn smart but I'm not so um 492 yards machine wash warm dry flat but I have this one well I actually have I have a couple more but oh and it was so pretty this is gorgeous I can't wait to see how this works up I gotten this from <sighs> AC Morris they were, oh man, I forget how much they were originally. Maybe, uh, were they 20 or were they like 4 I think they were $14.99. But they were always on sale for like $5. And when they were on sale for $5, I got them. I remember they came out with like their fancy hanked yarns. Um, like I said, for those that, you know, really wanted the, the good yarn but couldn't afford it. Which I thought that was so nice because remember um, Michaels came out with their hanked yarns too and everything. Uh, I miss Nicole Studio Stitch. I always say Nicole Studio Stitch. It rolls off the tongue better than Stitch Studio by Nicole. Um, but I really love their yarns. Uh, I get that filling of their yarns even better with Big Twist because a lot of the Big Twist yarns, um, I don't know, I would have to say it's better than the regular like super saver version of the stitch studio but because it's really soft it's really super soft the big twist but um yeah so i forget i have it in the drawer over there i'm not gonna get up again <laughs> and pull it all out but i have different ones of these and it's so pretty Ugh. sorry i had to grab that it was driving me crazy where did i put it oh i put it away but yes, this is that. And I don't know the name because I don't have the band. <laughs> but that's what I was working on right here. I mean, that was a long ago because I did this. And I know exactly the pattern for it and everything. But I got to do this. I really want to do this one. So I've always wanted to see how it would come out, and I loved it. I thought that was so, so pretty. And this is so soft. It is so soft. It's super stretchy, too. Which, knitting does come out super stretchy, but the yarn itself is really nice. Um, stay. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have blue velvet. <laughs> Don't know what that was for. working on baby Yoda's uh, slippers for my brother um I gotta finish this he uh, not baby Yoda Yoda slippers for my brother he is a huge Star Wars fan and I had a pattern I found years ago um when I first learned how to crochet I ran across this pattern for Yoda slippers and then finally, mm, like two years ago, no, a year ago, probably, yeah, he's been sitting for a year now. I finally figured, I mean, I started working on it. And so, what are you doing, Creeper? I want to get him done. So this one's, I just got to do the heel of it. And then I just got to finish Yoda. It's like magicalness going on in here oh there's my knitting thing 
I was looking for my long <laughs> knitting um, band because of my top I'm making and I couldn't find it anywhere. What are you doing, weirdo? I you want to show that real quick while I unravel this? Yes. What did you get? Your newest Funko. It's Gossamer. 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 And if you know Looney Tunes, he's from... He's a big red fluffy mon monster from Looney Tunes. But he was also in Space Jam and uh, Space Jam New Legacy. So he got him. He, You almost have all of them, right? I have all of them in the pen pack. I just need Diamonds and Zoom Squad, Manny, the Mouse, and Rose on the Iron Pope, the and I'm done. Oh, then you're done. So, what is this? I put back all the stickers. I'm so happy I looked in here. <laughs> so, this I was knitting a sweater out of that. Remember the weird tube yarn? Which everybody picked on, but I actually liked. Let me try to pull this out. Right here. I was knitting it. I'm going to have to finish this. I told you pick that. This was one of the panels. And then I had to do another one. And then attach them all and do the arms. Yeah. I don't know what this was. It might be it might be this part right here. So but then what's this? Oh, I know what that was. I started doing it differently. Because when I first started knitting this, I was just um knitting each of the colors, but then I didn't like how it came out. So then I started color controlling it and pulling the yarn apart and doing it stripes so I gotta get this done so here's some more whips to go into the <laughs> the whip the doom drawer the doom of whips ah oh, I was making these look how pretty this is I gotta get these done too. I was making a whole bunch of these for a cardigan. <laughs> Bye, babe. I was making a whole bunch Sorry. of these for a cardigan. And do I have the back to it? Do I have one finished? No, I don't. So, what you do is you make this part first. And then you add a granny square, a regular granny square of a color of your choice behind it. And then you attach the granny to each of the corners. And then that's going to make up your one square. So I think you have to make like 30 something or 40 something of these total. And I have one. I <laughs> know. I think I have two. <laughs> I think I have two of these. But yeah, look how pretty though. Ugh, oh, makes me want to do it. <laughs> and that's it. I just have the yarn and everything, which at least I did that. I put all the yarn together. I needed to go in here. No. Well, there we go with that. Some whips <laughs> that go in the, uh, the doom, the doom of whip drawers drawer. Now it might just be drawers because I don't know if it's going to fit. Uh, what, what did I come to? I just can't believe myself. I've always, like, even if I worked on like two projects at once, I got them done. Like, they were finished. I'm a disgrace to myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I just can't believe it because seriously, I would never do that. I would always like make sure everything was done and then look at this those Yoda slippers were like from a year ago but I am gonna get those done because I think he'll really like them and I was gonna put little um 
So there's a trick, which you probably know about if you made slippers. You can take those um, little dip dots and put them on the bottom of it, or you can take hot glue and make your own little dip dots and put it on the bottom. Um, so that way you don't slide across like wood floors, if you have wood floors in your house, or if you have like vinyl or tile flooring, that way you don't slip and slide. We have carpet running through the house except for the kitchen. The kitchen has wooden tiles and the bathroom. Well, the bathroom's, ugh, a fuzz. The bathroom's, I don't think it would slip and, well, yeah, you could, you could, but I have a little rug, a bathroom mat in there. Ugh. Well, now I gotta get all this done because I really like that sweater. That'd be really pretty for fall. It's surprisingly not heavy. Um, that yarn is a bulky yarn. And, and well, chunky, bulky yarn. But, and it's 100% acrylic. But, um, it's not heavy. It might be if it was, I don't know if it's crocheted. Crochet and knit, like, come out with two different, completely two different fabrics. Um, knit is really stretchy, uh, sometimes can be lighter than the crochet project, and then the crochet could be a little bit heavier, or sometimes vice versa, lighter, or, you know. But either way, they both make amazingly beautiful items. And I can't pick a favorite. Like, some days when I'm knitting, I'm like, this is why I love knitting. And then other days when I'm crocheting, I'm like, oh, I love crocheting. Like, I just can't pick a favorite. I truly can't. And it's like things you do with crochet, you can't do. It's only by hand. And a lot of people don't realize that is that, and I don't say us crafters, but people that purchase things, they're like, oh, it's handmade. Yeah, but it's crocheted handmade. Crocheted handmade cannot be mimicked by a machine. Knitting, however, can. You can knit anything on a machine, but even you could do even cable in on a machine, but... Uh, crochet you can't so and anybody tries to come at you for your handmade products and they're crocheted say well you find a machine that can do this so this is my new purse that I am making I found this when I was organizing <laughs> it was in my uh, purse drawer I have like a drawer that like I said I have all like little um purse finding, zippers, and little things that I use for my bags, and then this was in there. I got this a couple years ago on Amazon. Um, it's just a little wooden dowel thingy. And so then I have, this is felt. This is this pretty like rose felt. I took my rotary blade and I uh, laid this on top and I cut out the center. And then I just, um, with a needle, hand stitched this on. And then I went, I, well actually I put it in the Cricut first um, to do the holes that go all the way around. And then I did the center. But then I have that. I think this is going to come out so pretty. I'm thinking of putting like little flowers along the side too. But look at it. And you could just see like the peak peekaboo of the roses coming through and it's so pretty this is called I'm using big twist um wor it the color is worsted dark denim it is a number four weight 100% acrylic and 380 yards I spray my acrylic um I sprayed them sorry <laughs> I have, ooh, I forget what it's called, stiffener, stiff, I think it's called stiffen spray. Um, every time when I'm done with the purses, I like lightly spray it, let it sit, and then spray it again before I add like the line into it, and it really helps acrylic. So if you are using acrylic, or say like you, the only, you know, you don't like using cotton, which is understandable, kitchen cotton is the best to work for like purses because it really holds up well. Um, where the other cotton, the softer cotton, is more for, like, wearables. But if you don't like the feel of it, because I don't sometimes like the feel of it, 
when you're working with it and you only like to use acrylic, there's a little uh, tip it for you. Get some of the stiffening spray. What you doing, Bell Bells? You want to say hi? She does. You want to say hi? She wants to say hi. She's our Bell Bells. This is our little limp biscuit. Can you see her little limp? Her, she, we rescued her with food from with outside when she was a little kid and she's a year old now. Yeah. She's a year old. Yes, yeah, she is. She um, I love you. Yeah, uh, there's a neighbor that has a dog and I don't know what kind of dog it is so I don't want to, you know. And it's not the dog. Whatever breed it is, it's not the dog. It's the person that raises that dog to do these things. So it ate its it ate Bella's um brother or sister. Cause there was twins. And I remember seeing twins out there. Derpy Derp is her brother as well. We rescued him, but he likes to run inside out the house. Yeah. But um I guess the dog tried to catch her and got her foot. And the owner was laughing about it with my husband. Well, he wasn't laughing, but he, the owner of the dog was like, oh, yeah, that's the cat. My dog ate the foot. And I said to him, I said, you are so lucky, Jeff. I was not out there because I would have flipped on him. Ooh, I would have, he would have gotten it from me. If you don't know my mommy. Everything's happened. She likes to fight. I don't like to fight. Yeah, huh? You fight a girl when you were walking. You said you beat her to the ground. So how about that? It was your story that you told us. <sighs> Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. No. Go. Um, no. I was telling the kids, never back down to bullies. That in life, go, baby. In life, there's going to be people that's going to, you know, bully you. Don't back down from them. S you know, stand your ground and don't let, and you know, anybody. And it's not good to start fights. Never start fights. But if someone's going to do something to you, defend yourself. You know, and that's what I was saying. Ugh. He twists things, this kid. He's so much like Mr. Who. It's not even funny. But anyway, that's the story of Bella. Um... Like I said, we like to rescue and save the cats and stuff like that. I'm down to three of them. And one is Big Boy, which he's new. But I, I don't know how old he is. But he has like, I'm trying, he lets me pet him. So I'm going to see if he will actually let me pick him up. Because I want to bring him inside and I want to take him to um, a shelter. He is horrible looking. He has like all these cuts all over him it looks like he really went through it and so um yeah it breaks my heart it really breaks my heart but yeah like I said I wanted to fault the guy <laughs> but oh he would have gotten a mouthful from me and I would have caught animal control on him I told that to Mr. Who I said why don't you come get me Cause I know you. You would have went out there and made a scene. You darn right, I would have made a scene. He's letting his dog kill cats. You cannot help these cats outside. You can't. People get them for pets, and you know they're for their kids. And what happens is their kids don't take care of them. Oh, let's just let it outside. And these poor defenseless animals have to fend for themselves out in the wild. And then what? What do you think is going to happen if they're not fixed and they're not spayed and neutered? They're going to, you know, have babies and more babies and that's how you have a more population in the city, in, in the countryside, wherever you're from, of these animals. That's my rant for the day. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the rant, but oh, it just gets on my nerves how people do these to animals. And then, you know... You know, there's people around with BB guns and they're laughing and they're thinking it's funny to shoot these animals and do these things. You have no clue the cats that have come that I rescued. And majority of them were super friendly, super sweet, and somebody's pet. We had a black and white cat we named Figaro. And right away I said, he's too clean. And so we went around the whole neighborhood, I mean, all around trying to find his owner nobody claimed him we kept him in here 
Um, and he was just the sweetest cat ever. But we couldn't keep him, and so I found him a really great home. So, and there was another cat the other day. Beautiful, uh, but we're lucky enough, the owner we found, and uh, the cat just got out. So, that was a that was a blessing because I just thought, oh, not another one. It's so sad, you know. And it, another rant. We have a county park near us, and people get these animals. They'll get alligators. They'll get really like cockatoos and all these birds. Um, there was even a parrot once. They'll get pigs and let pigs go guinea pigs and rabbits and it's like their kids don't take care of them oh just let them out in the wild domesticated rabbits are not meant to be in the wild they will not survive in the wild or survive even living outside because they are a domesticated breed which th means they need to be indoors and taken care of um they they're not a farm animal even though people um you know tend to think bunnies and farms which is true but they're not a farm animal they they won't they don't make it. Uh, guinea pigs. Another thing, guinea pigs don't like the heat. They they blow up. Their bellies will blow up, um, and they can die. They get overheated very quickly. They're not a farm animal. They're not meant to live outside. They are a domesticated animal, which are tend to be inside the house and not a child's pet, uh, unless you have a very good child that knows how to take care of a pet. Then that's different. But they're not a plaything. So. Oh, it just irks me, you know, you're driving down the road and you see a cat that's dead or you see a dog or a bunny or another animal that's dead, you know. We had like a um, top animal guy once catch all these animals. There was an alligator, an alligator in our river. We lived near the Conestoga River and there was an alligator in there. And here it was somebody's pet and they let it go or they say it got away. It didn't get away. <sighs> yeah, that's my rant. My second rant. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the ranting. But I am a fighter, but I'm a fighter for in that kind of way. I'm not a fist fighter. Um, back to the purse. So this is my newest whip. <laughs> I'm not even done with the other ones. Let's Let's make some more, you know. That's what happens to me now. This is what, this is my life. I blame yous. I watch all the yous and your whips. Just kidding. I blame yous in the best way. Because you inspire me to do more and more. And then put it away and do more and more. And then finally to one day I'm like, oh, I remember this. <laughs> but this is it. And I'm really loving how this is coming out. Um, so like I said, with the acrylic yarn, you want to spray um, a protective spray on it. So I always do the stiffening spray. It just helps um, set the acrylic, and that way, you know, you know, if you, I don't want to throw a purse in the washer, but if you like spot clean it, you know, with a rag, you can do that, and it'll be fine. So that is all I have for today. I really hope you like this video. Stay <laughs> tuned to the end um, because it's a funny, funny image that Sandy sent me this morning. <laughs> I look like a mad woman in my video yesterday. I look like a mad woman and it was so hilarious. And then this morning I got up and I saw my messages. I died and that's how I hurt my back. My back. So I was like, ha ha, oh my back, ha 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 ha. Like tears are coming down my face. It was so funny. And so 100% accurate. <laughs> Alrighty, hope you all are having a hooterific day. Who went to now? Bye.